Hey folks, AshleyAllThingsIndustry.com and I want to talk to you today quickly about uh, IND, Internal Abscess, and one of the quick ways, uh, a really easy way to place one of these guys. Oral surgeon was talking to us, really gentle, kind, caring, compassionate man, just listen for the kids, and one way he showed us uh, was really simply to take the Penrose drain and your hemostats after you uh, incised and blunt dissected and place this on the end of the beak, the full thing, hold it like a slingshot and go into the tissue and sort of let go and have the drain go into the tissue. Now, I, so that's the, the quick trip tip. I just want to go over some of the points that he brought up. Uh, the three D's to IND, uh, incision and drainage was decom decompress, decontaminate, and drain. So decompress is making the incision and making sure that all the pus flows out of there. Take your hemostats. When you go in there with your hemostats percent, you know, there's your incision. When you go in there, you'll see it comes through. Spread the hemostats and pull out. You don't need a really large incision. So you put them in, hit bone, spread them and pull out. And keep them spread on the way out. That's critical. So go in there, try to find uh, different planes, go through the different planes, just really blunt dissection, shouldn't take long. It may be painful for the patient because of the, P P the pH of the region, especially um, just did a canine space infection the other day and it was, uh, it was fairly painful. So the next one is decontaminate, uh, including antibiotics and also saline rinse. You can use chlorhexidine if, if you want. Um, so lots and lots of, so the, the key that I've heard all oral surgeons say is the solution to pollution is dilution, so lots of saline rinse, rinse it, rinse it, rinse. Um, I think we put probably 60, mil, 60 to 100 milliliters of fluid, just rinsing, rinsing, making sure it's cleaned out. And then the last is drainage. So placing your drain and making sure it's drained. Some, some, some folks advocate not having to, major stock, not having to place a drain on the maxillary arch, just the gravity will pull it down. But all of them, almost hands down, want to place a, uh, um, a drain on the mandibular arch. So let's just quickly go over the basics. Here's um, Peterson's, here's my deniform. So here's your abscess, whether you decide to extract a tooth and drain it that way or do an IND is up to you. Um, here's an 11 blade, this is what a 15 looks like. Folks now are advocating, instead of going right through the disease, disease tissue, go away from it and make your incision. Uh, the incision does not need to be wide. And then, like I said, when you take your uh, hemostats for blunt dissection, you go in there, spread them, and pull out spread. I, I never knew that. I, it was just like pull in, you know, kind of spread around and then pull out. But no, keep pull it all the way out. And then placing your drain. So like I alluded to before, so there's our drain placed like that. And then you would just suture that around. Make sure that um, they used to uh, make little nicks in it. You don't need to right now. Just make sure, it, the, the whole idea is to prevent this, the, uh, the mucosa from sealing over. So if you take a suture, suture that, make sure this doesn't go, two to five, doesn't fall out. Take this, have the patient, you're gonna follow them up in 24 hours and then in two to five days, you can pull that, remove the drain. So I'm gonna to try to do this on the deniform. So the idea is to take your, take the drain, put it on the hemostats on the end like that, sort of give it a little bit of tension. After you, so this is after you successfully IND the, uh, the patient. So you've got the whole thing on here. Place it into the wound, let go, and leave it in there, and then, cut it and suture and that's it. Now that to me is much simpler than what I was kind of not even taught, just shown. So again, um, the keys to successful IND are uh, successful IND is uh, decompress like we talked, decontaminate, lots of solution to pollutions, dilution, and then drainage. So uh, thanks a lot to uh, the surgeon who taught us and uh, cheers.